the VV app has received another update and it is full of minor improvements. But I think this update is really, really big in another sense. And that is what we are going to talk about. Hey everyone, it's the patient toddler coming at you with another video and in this one we are going to discuss the most recent VV update that we have just received on the app stores and this upgrade has a couple of features. But before we start, please keep in mind that I'm a crypto and NFT investor and not your financial advisor. So please do your own research before you ape full degen into the VV collectibles and or the Ecomi token. Also, please, if you enjoy this type of content, it's absolutely free. Smash up the like button. Thanks for the like and subscribe to my channel and tick the little bell to always get notified whenever I upload a video. And I want to thank each and every one of you who is supporting me as a rare hodler, as a channel member to this channel. Thank you so much. You are minted on the screen. And with that out of the way, let's get finally started. So we can see in the update notifications that we have received a couple of changes to the VV app. And the first one is that we are getting notified when we enter a waitlist drop and we are coming closer to the drop time of a specific drop. That is very crucial in my opinion because it takes a little bit of the time between getting into the queue early and when the drop happens out of the system so that we can actually do other stuff. For example, browse the market or quickly head out of the app. But the main goal obviously is to keep people in the ad and for that Vivi has also brought up some other features. First of all, if you're participating in auctions, then you are getting notifications as well. Whenever there is any activity with the auction that they are participating in. For example, if you are outbid at the auction so that you can come in right away to place a new bid or continue to observe the auction and see how other bidders are pushing the price up and then reevaluate. And I think that is also a very good improvement because it gives you time to do other stuff on the app. But now to the most crucial point of this update, which is the in-app announcements of Vivi. Now it is possible what we have already theorized and demanded on this channel that Vivi actually can communicate drops and other news directly through their own app. So they can create a channel of information throughout their own app which means that if they were to launch news right in their app before they launch it on twitter before they launch it on this discord channel before they launch it on a community update on youtube they will launch it in the vv app if that happens that means that the people that are spending time on the vv app that are right now on the vv app are the first ones to know about a new drop or a new improvement that is coming to Vivi. In my opinion, very, very big because we have already demanded, we have wished for functionalities that bring people to the app, that keep people in the app and that generate a higher level of excitement within the app. So that means while you're sniping, while you're looking for your favorite mint numbers, while you're looking at your collections, building vaults or something, at any time, these news can pop in and you as a frequent Vivi user are the first one to know about this. And I hope that they will extend this feature more to that actually very important events. For example, if you put a certain purchase price that triggers a worldwide, an app-wide event, for example, or a specific burn or a specific purchase in terms of mint numbers, if you would put that up um, as a app-wide event that only people that are in the app will know about right away besides the bot channels that are also able to communicate at least the sales of high priced items or specific mint numbers but really as an animation with sound that tells you with the notification that something is going on so you will be directly linked to Vivi for getting news I hope that they put something up like boom fat banner, uh, fireworks, whatever, like level up sound, like uh, you have it in uh, World of Warcraft or something like that, 
and then number 41 mint has appeared on the market or uh, number 41 of that specific collectible has appeared as an auction or number 58 of uh, Todd has been burned or something like that right so in the distant future where these things are actually maybe making sense so there is another improvement that is coming with this new update and that is actually that you can when you are looking for comics in the app in the search bar i've tried it out it works you will also see the editions that have been already released so for example if you look for thor you will see that there is thor number one thor number 339 and so on so we, you will be seeing actually these release numbers of a specific uh, comic series also a minor improvement which is very very good now let's come to why i think that this is actually a big update it's not because the push notifications are so good or because that vivi now can post stuff in the app is such a big achievement it's not about that it's we have four small improvements where one has a very big impact and the other ones just make the app better uh, in itself so the experience will be better but it means that there are more and more things coming out that have been developed structurally on the technological side that actually what Mitch and Nestor and co are doing has an effect and more frequently we are getting these updates so we had the update with the back-end integration of the queue then the queue was released we had the back-end integration of craft and burn craft and burn was released uh, we had the push notifications now and so on so there are more updates that gradually make the VV app better. And I think that is very, very big. And despite that, also we had the more transparent communication about things that went wrong, for example, with the gauntlet crafting and so on. And overall, I think that is a better look. Why is this so good? Because if you can say, okay, they have followed up on these promises, right? They have brought waitlist, they have brought push notifications, they have brought craft and burn they have brought looking for specific edition numbers in the search bar they have improved the search bar and so on so if you take this all together you can say okay everything they said in that sense is coming so we can be more confident that the real big milestones that need to come or need to be re-implemented will also come one of them is that the european zone and the rest of the world besides the us gets the payout back very important for user trust the next one is that we get omi to nft and the third one also very important is that we get at least some kind of interoperability at least within the imx ecosystem right but before all of these updates it looked way worse than right now when we are seeing that these things that have been promised are coming even though these are the more low hanging fruits right now. It's still something where we can base an opinion on that these things might be coming that actually Omi to NFT is on the roadmap, is only delayed and will be seen still this year. That at least is my hope. And guys, you cannot imagine how grateful I am and how happy I am that I can be out here in a very young growing cornfield or on the side and taking this video for you guys um, and talking something positive about Ecomi and Vivi and that makes me really happy because I have missed these times where I could just come out here and every day there was something new something bullish about Ecomi and Vivi and I'm really really happy that this now today is a point where I can say that so I think we should give credit when credit is deserved and we did give a lot of criticism when it was deserved so let's see let's look let's um let's analyze what is going to come next for ecomi and vivi let me know in the comments below if you also think that these improvements are a good sign or do you think that this is all gaslighting everyone gets scammed and actually the rug pull is already over the rug has been pulled and no one really realized it if that's the case then please also let me know in the comments below 
And with that said, I will stay a little bit longer um, in this beautiful scenery here, um, looking at these fields. Um, but for you, I can only recommend that you also go out a little bit into beautiful nature, calm down your minds, get away a little bit from the screens, and wherever you are on the world, have yourselves a great morning, evening, day, night or afternoon and see you in the next video.